I want a robot. You've got a robot. But my robot wants a robot. What do you want from Santa? I want... I want... I wish I knew. We have so many toys already. What do I need? Do you need puppets? Nope, got them. Ballet shoes? Right here. Something for Matilda? Matilda's perfect, just the way she is. Pardon? I said... Matilda's perfect, just the way she is. <gasps> Where's Matilda? Leave it to me, Mrs. Garcia. It will be the best holiday party ever. Mom, have you seen Matilda? Sure, sweetie. Um, many times. Today? Mm -mm -mm. Anyone seen my other snowflake sock? No. Have you seen Matilda? Uh, no. Not recently. <sighs> Found Matilda yet? Not yet. Aw, what's the matter? All my old toys are broken or parts are missing. Maybe Sanzo will bring you a new truck. Hey, maybe he could bring you a new Matilda. I want old Matilda, but new is better. But Grandma gave me Matilda when I was little. I've had her my whole life. I'll help you look for her. Matilda, are you in here? Matilda's not under there, but I found an orange crayon. Here's the top of William's bottle. And a teacup from my tea set. That was Matilda's favorite cup. And those were my favorite socks. Sometimes, I think there must be somewhere in space where all the missing things go, honey. Ready to hang these up? At least stockings don't come in pairs, so we don't have to worry about losing one. Olivia, where are you? Here we are. Whoa. <laughs> oh, where's the camera? That's one for the photo album. <laughs> All right, everyone, time to put out some treats for Santa and the reindeer. Here are the cookies. Everyone puts cookies out. Santa will be tired of them by the time he gets to our house. Let's think of something else. How could anyone get tired of cookies? Cheese, crackers, green olives. And what do we give the reindeer? Zucchini, of course. Rule of life number 51. Being a flying reindeer takes a lot of energy, so it's good to feed them vegetables. Now, as we all know, Santa won't come until all children are fast asleep. Okay, Mom. Night. Night. See you tomorrow on Christmas. You asleep? No. Too excited to sleep? I miss Matilda. I know you do, sweetie. Don't worry, we'll find her. He said Christmas. Oh, good boy. Well done, son. I guess Santa likes black olives. Which reindeer drink the milk? Say Christmas again, William. Can we look in our stockings? Sure can.
Fun, fun. Look. <laughs> oh. This puzzle is tough, but I can do it. Did Santa bring everything you wanted, Olivia? Yes. But I'd still like Matilda back. Oh. Would breakfast help? I made my special Christmas waffles. One sec. Almost finished. <gasps> Nobody move! Missing piece! Well, it must be here somewhere. How am I going to finish it? If I were Santa Claus, I'd try to return all the lost things. I made for you. <gasps> the last puzzle piece! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Yes! It fits! I wish I could make you a new Matilda. Perry? What's Perry doing? Perry, what do you have there? Perry, come back! What's back here? Dad, your snowflake sock! And Ian's missing puzzle piece! <gasps> and Matilda! I found the place where all our missing things go! Now this is what I call Christmas. Oh, you found Matilda! Look, dear, Olivia found my sock. And that's not all. Hey, Ian, look! Thanks. But I like your piece better. And that's why reindeer have tea parties and little girls have antlers. Are you sure? No. <laughs> I suppose you want another story. No, thanks. No? Nope. I think that's the exact story I want to go to sleep with. <sighs> Merry Christmas, Dad. Merry Christmas, Bob. Merry Christmas, sweetie. Merry Christmas, Livy. Merry Christmas, Ian. Merry Christmas, Olivia. Merry Christmas, William. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Matilda. <laughs>
Go on, drink up. School. Mom! It's certainly looking like one cold day ahead, folks. Hats and scarves. Please, 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 please. Hampshire Elementary. Elementary. Hampshire Elementary. Hampshire Elementary. School. Are there any schools open today? No classes at River Valley High School. And finally, Lincoln High School. No classes all day. <sighs> no, wait. This just in. Hampshire Elementary will not, I repeat, not have school today. Yay! And that concludes this special report. <laughs> Snow fort. I'm making a snow fort. Mom, you can pack the walls. We need gluey snow. Gluey. <laughs> Thanks, honey. But I have to do some work today. Do you want to help your brother build a fort? Nope. Do you want to build your own fort? Nope. Better. Watch. Stay tuned for a very special report. Snow day! Good morning! Olivia here, your official Snow Day reporter. On special assignment, covering the biggest snowstorm in ever, ever, ever. Just look at this snowbank here. No, Julian. Here. A snowbank taller than a six and three quarters year old girl. <sighs> That's it? Uh. Well, no. I mean, we could interview someone. Yes, a man in the street interview. No man. No street. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Are you a man in the street? Uh, I am a man in a driveway. That'll do. Olivia here with a special man in the driveway interview. Just one day after the biggest snowstorm ever, ever, ever. And what is your name, sir? Uh, Dad, I guess. Tell us what you're doing on this snow day. I'm, uh, I'm shoveling. How exciting. Uh, more on the boring side. I mean, unless I discover the abominable snowman or something. What's that? My viewers need facts. Oh, well, uh, the abominable snowman is a, a huge, hairy creature that uh, lives in the snows of the Himalaya Mountains. Fascinating. But it's completely imaginary. Doesn't really exist. Oh. Well, thanks anyway, Mr. Dad. <gasps> Snowballs. I can't tell you. Ian, why not? Please, my viewers want to know. All I can say is they're headed for a top, top, top secret snow fort. Goodbye. Wait for me. I want to see the snow fort. <sighs> Don't worry. You can all count on Olivia for big news about the snowstorm, and she'll find it for you. Uh, I mean, me. I'll find the news. Julian! Here we are in Francine's snow-filled yard. Francine, tell us what you're doing on this snow day. Hello, world! I'm Francine. They know, I said. And if your cameraman will follow me, I'll show you my lovely snow animals. My snow doggy. My snow bunny and my snow kitty. Oh, well, thank you for an interesting interview. Cut! That's it? Yup, gotta move on. They're still hungry for more news stories out there. Well, I have a great story about how I lost my mitten because of all this snow. Perfect! Julian, roll camera. Well, there was all this snow, and I lost my mitten. Thanks. I'll be sure to work that in. Look at those tracks. They can only mean one thing. You don't mean... The abominable snowman! Ugh. 
Quick, I need help making snowballs. And Casey goes for my fort. They do that, you know. Julian, get a shot of these. This is the biggest news story of the whole snow day. We're gonna follow these tracks and find the abominable snowman. Let's go. I think I'm going to go finish my snow animals. Bye. What if he doesn't like shiny objects? I'm the one holding the camera. Julian, everyone wants to be on TV. He'll be very excited. Abominable, excited snowman. Great. Why don't you stay here, Ian, and watch the fort? Can we borrow the toboggan? Go ahead. I'm not budging from here. Don't you love it, Julian? Two reporters, off into the unknown. Mush, mush! Follow those tracks! Tell Santa I'll write to him! Olivia, the tracks lead into that cave. The abominable snowman's tip-top secret lair! <laughs> <sighs> Are you sure you're ready, Olivia? For the biggest news story ever? I've been ready my whole life. Great, so you go first. Olivia on the scene, here at the lovely home of the abominable snowman. We should see him any minute. That's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> Oh, Perry, you scared us. Good boy, Perry. That away. Roll camera. Tracks? Uh huh. What size feet do you have anyway? Snowshoe size. I was trying to walk backwards, downhill, on ice. Back off, abominable snowman, or prepare for my snowball fury! Oh, it's just you, Harold. Yeah, I get that a lot. Sorry. Sorry? Harold, you're the biggest news story of the whole snowstorm. You're gonna be on TV. Me? <laughs> Olivia here with a fast-breaking news story right here, right now. The very first ever, ever, ever look at the actual, real-life, imaginary, abominable snowman. <laughs> oh, no! Not the abominable snowman. Leave our village alone, imaginary beast. <laughs> <laughs> Which is how the abominable snowman was captured in our own backyard. That concludes this special report. This is reporter Olivia at the end of a very long snow day, signing off. Excellent reporting, Olivia. Mm, I think it's time we all signed off, hmm? <laughs> but I'm not tired. I don't think I can sign off. Mm, tell you what, Livy, next time. I'll catch the abominable snowman, and you shovel. Mm. Uh, sounds exciting. Hmm. Get some sleep. Back to school tomorrow. Uh, are you sure? Roads are all plowed, sweetie. Sleep. Good night, Olivia. Good night, Olivia. <sighs> Good night, Mom. Good night, Dad.
Until next time, it's me, Kiki the Kangaroo, saying so long. And remember, why walk when you can skip? And why skip when you can hop? See you next time! Hop, hop, kick! Hop, hop, hop kick! kick. <laughs> Ian, look! Coming this weekend, the ice spectacular you won't want to miss. With skating champion Sonia Spencer in the starring role of Cinderella on Ice. Share the magic as one lucky <gasps> guest is chosen to skate side by side with Sonia Spencer. Yuck. Figure skating. Mom, can we go to the ice show, please? Well... Double, please? Actually... Triple, please? Triple? <laughs> well... Rule of life number 48. When you really, really, really want something, it helps to use a triple, please. Well, luckily, I have tickets for the whole family. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My skates. I have to practice. Thanks, Mom, but you can give my ticket to Perry. Dogs love skating. See? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Olivia, you can turn on the hose now. Make sure you keep the water right here. Not too fast. Okay, Julian. It's working! If it stays this cold, the water will turn to ice by tomorrow. And I'll be practicing on my very own skating rink. <laughs> you didn't like ice skating. Not the ice princess kind. I like the hockey kind. Hmm. Uh-huh. That's solid, all right. Good work, Olivia. Now, you two be careful. Want to play goalie, Dad? <laughs> yeah, how about I just watch you play? <laughs> Looking good, Ian. Dad, can you help me practice for the ice show? Uh, honey, I, I'm not really the best skater. All you have to do is this. The lucky winner is... Olivia! <laughs> Got it. And now, for the very first time at Cinderella on Ice, a solo performance by none other than the great Olivia! You're doing a solo? Oh, hi, Francine. At Cinderella on Ice? Well, I plan to be chosen to skate with Sonia Spencer. But anybody could be chosen. I guess, but... I mean, I could be picked if they don't pick me first. Can I practice too? Okay... Yay! I'm wide open, Harold! Pass, pass! Score! It is? How am I doing? Great. Pretty good turning, excellent stopping, and awesome not falling down. That part's easy. Not for me. I'll show you how to skate and not fall down. I like not skating and not falling down. Are you sure? Oh, all right. See how easy it is, Julian? I'm gonna fall, gonna fall, gonna fall. Go ahead. You've got the Olivia Patootie pillow. See? You're skating. Yay! Whoops. <laughs> Tootie pillow works. <laughs> Kids, I have some bad news. I just heard on the radio that the ice show has been canceled. No Cinderella on ice? But why? Well, they had to cancel because Sonia Spencer is sick. Sonia Spencer? Sick? Oh, no. Hi, Sonia. It's me, Olivia. I'm so sorry you're sick. No, oh, it's just a little cold. I... <sighs> but I can't skate. 
The show is canceled. I can skate. Would you skate for me? Please? Well, I mean, I'm not... Triple, please. In that case, I must. Here. You deserve this, Olivia. Aha! Uh -huh. We'll do our own Cinderella on ice. How? We're not real skaters. I even wear a patootie pillow. We've practiced all day. And besides, the show must go on. Otto, Oscar, I mean, Cinderella stepsisters. Ready? And action! It's the prince, and the glass slipper is mine. Actually, it's plastic. Oh, where, oh, where is my coachman? Whoa, whoa. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Can I have a patootie pillow, too? <sighs> Catch me! Catch me! Oh, no! Oh. <sighs> Good. We're getting there. One more time. <sighs> nope. And now for Act Two of our performance of Cinderella on Ice. The fairy godmother had two more things to do before the ball. And now, I turn you into Cinderella's coachman! Thank you, but I don't drive. <laughs> Next, the fairy godmother turned a mere pumpkin into a glorious coach. So Cinderella was finally ready. Cinderella on Ice may have been canceled, but another ice show came to town thanks to a determined young skater named Olivia. She put together a show in her own backyard skating rink and even played the role of Cinderella. Olivia was nobility on ice. Mm. Sweet dreams. What's nobility mean? It means you skated just like a princess. Good night, Olivia. Good night, Dad. Nobility on ice.
boughs with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. Don we now our gay apparel. Fa la 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 la. Sorry, Perry. There's no food in here. It's something even better. But before I can take it out, we've got to keep this a secret. Uh, no matter what, Ian can't see his present. You stand guard. Okay. Ready? It's Poco Loco Penguin! The greatest toy ever! So, what do you think? It's my Christmas present for Ian. I agree one zillion percent. This is the most perfect present in the history of history. Not only does it walk, but when you squeeze it... One of the skunk's favorite kind of sandwich. Peanut butter and smelly. It tells jokes. <laughs> Peanut butter and smelly. <laughs> I know, Ian is going to love it. Now to wrap it. If you hear Ian coming, bark. <laughs> Perfect. Excellent guard dogging, Perry. The coast is clear. Is that for me? Ian, were you peeking at your presents? No. Yes. Maybe. But you'll ruin the surprise. I know. And I'm so good at guessing, I can't stop myself. Watch. Toy car. Bigger toy car. Ugh. Socks. But being surprised on Christmas morning, that's the best part of Christmas. I agree. I love surprises. But good luck convincing your brother. You have to admit, he's good. Well, you're going to be surprised when you open my present. A present? For me? What is it? Uh-uh-uh. Come on, Olivia, let me see. <sighs> so, what did you get me? <sighs> Keeping this a surprise until Christmas isn't going to be easy. I'll have to hide it. And to do that, I've got to trick him. This might work. <gasps> My present! Hmm. That fake present isn't going to fool Ian for long. Now, where can I hide this real one? Hey, Francine! I need to find... A good place to hide Ian's present. Okay. Where's a place Ian never goes? Hmm. I know. Look, Ian's... laundry. Ew, that's disgusting. He never even opens the dirty laundry <laughs> hamper. Perfect. Problem solved. Excuse me, girls. I'm just going to run one more load before Christmas. Okay, Mom. The present! <gasps> it's going to get soaked! And then dried! <laughs> <sighs> that was close. Shh. Ian will never look for it here. I can smell why. Stinky diapers! Whoa! <laughs> All over my present! Perry, come on! Give me my present! Come back here, Perry! Come on, Perry! There's no safe place to hide anything in this house! You're right! So there's just one thing to do! Go outside! But where are we gonna put it? Bucket. Do you 
hear that? No. Exactly. No mom, no Ian. No one will find the present out here. Great! Then I've got to get home to hang my stocking. Merry Christmas, Olivia. Merry Christmas, Francine. Thanks for your help. Gotcha! Hey, this is empty. <laughs> Perry, dig. We've got to find Ian's present. Maybe here. Where could it be? Faster, Perry, hurry. There's no way Ian's sleeping late on Christmas morning. Here's something red. There's something red. This isn't the bucket either. <sighs> Guess Ian will be surprised that I don't have a present for him. I'd have to be a machine to get rid of all this snow in time. I wonder... Time for some super duper snow blowing! The bike and the paddles and the teepee, of course! These should do it! Two words, Perry. Snowblower. Look, Perry! It's working! We'll find that bucket yet. Present time! You're right, it is present time. Merry Christmas, Ian. I don't know how you did it, Olivia, but this is a surprise. Loco Loco Penguin! One of the skunk's favorite kind of sandwich. Peanut butter and smelly. Oh, oh wow. Merry Christmas. Christmas. Thanks, Olivia. <laughs> this is the best Christmas in the history of history. <laughs> <laughs> So Santa did a good job this year? The best. I love all my presents. But my favorite gift is the one I surprised Ian with. Well, I'm not surprised. It was a wonderful gift from a wonderful girl. There will be plenty of time for both of you to enjoy all your presents tomorrow. They say good night, Olivia. Your big day is through. But how can I sleep? There's still so much to do. It looks like I'm tucked inside, snug in my bed. But tomorrow is chasing today through my head. Will I climb the highest mountain top? Olivia.
Indeed I am, Olivia. In fact, I'm better than okay because today is Turkey Day. <laughs> and we'll be celebrating one of my favorite animals, the turkey. I always wanted my own turkey, but my parents were goldfish people. But turkeys are fun. That's what I always told them. So I decided if I couldn't have a turkey, I could at least learn to speak their language. I don't like to boast, but I happen to be a champion turkey warbler, which is a fancy pants way of saying I can talk to turkeys. So that's the noise you were making. It sounded like singing. <gasps> I would love to sing with turkeys. I wonder. <laughs> Mrs. Hagenmuller, I want to learn to sing with a turkey. That's wonderful, Olivia. But you might want to learn to talk to them before you sing with them. Why are you making that weird noise? That's just how you talk to turkeys. I'm trying to say, hello, turkey, I'm Olivia. Come out and play. Nope. No turkeys. I guess I'd better keep trying. Ooh, no, 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 no. <gasps> Is that a turkey? Let's find out. Ooh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> that turkey looks a lot like Perry. Come on, Perry. Let's play fetch. Hmm. Maybe it takes a really special turkey call. <gasps> Ha uh ha, -huh, very funny, Ian. <laughs> I did it! I can talk to turkeys! <laughs> Whoa! That's... that's a turkey! I know! Open up, William. The choo-choo is heading right for your mouth. Chugga, 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 come on! Dad, I did it! I talked turkey! Well, that's great, Olivia. It isn't easy to talk turkey. You know, I do a pretty good gobble-gobble myself. Gobble-gobble. Huh, William? Gobble-gobble. Let me show you how it's done, Dad. <gasps> gobble, gobble, gobble. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a turkey. I know. I have a way with animals. Harry, <laughs> easy, easy, boy. Come here. Come on. <laughs> okay, let's see. Crystal, fine china, linen napkins. Oh, what else do I need for a wedding? <laughs> oh! There, there's a turkey, turkey in, in there. there. <laughs> I've got this, Mom. There he is. Olivia, can you do your oodle-oodle call and get your friend to come out? Okay. <gasps> wow, you call and he answers. He says he's sorry. There. He had to go, Olivia. And anyway, I, I'm sure the turkey is, is happy to be back outside. Huh? I'm gonna miss that little guy. Ah, I was expecting a delivery. Oh! Did that turkey ring the doorbell? Wow, you really do have a way with animals. I think he really likes you. Can he stay? Uh, maybe just for tonight. 
He's such a good turkey. Can we keep him forever? Did you know that turkeys are one of the smartest birds? No, I didn't. <gasps> hey, he ate my pancakes. That's it. He has to go. Don't worry, Mom. I brought him here. I'll get rid of him. <laughs> now what? I have this recorder, and I'm going to record a very special message. Time. That turkey is good. Mmm, popcorn. <laughs> He'll never go on his own. We just have to find him a new home with someone he likes more than me. Yeah, but even if we do, who wants a turkey for a pet? That's it. Mrs. Hogenmiller always wanted a turkey. If we introduce them, maybe he'll like her more than me. Good morning, class. Please take your seats, everyone. <laughs> Whoa! Really Olivia! Who is your handsome friend? And where did he come from? I called him. Like this. <laughs> oh, Olivia, you have a gift. No wonder you called, and this little fella came. You're a gobbly, glorious little fella, too. Wanna... Give it a try? Oh, I would love to. <clears throat> oh, no, no, no. A bit more like this, Mrs. Hogenmuller. Let's try it together. <laughs> oh, my. That was wonderful. I think it worked. He likes her. Are you sure you don't mind if I adopt this beautiful bird? I'm sure. Oh, and he really likes popcorn. He can have all the popcorn he wants. Gobbledy, 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 gobbledy. Dad, do you think the turkey misses me? Oh, I'm sure he misses you a lot, Olivia. But he'll be happy living with Mrs. Hogenmuller. Oh, no! He's back! <gasps> Ian! Ha! <laughs> you thought I was a turkey. Very funny, Ian, but you get back to bed. Go to sleep. You too, Olivia. But... Gobble, gobble, gobble! Dad! Ooh. Oh, okay. Gobble, 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 gobble! Close enough. Good night, Olivia. They say good night, Olivia, your big dad. But how can I sleep? There's still so much to do. It looks like I'm tucked inside snug in my bed. But tomorrow is chasing today through my head. Will I climb the highest mountain top? Or will I paint my masterpiece? Go ride a bronco in the rodeo. Or wild and crowd on my trapeze. Princess, doctor, author, astronaut. From jungle start to ocean's deep. 